Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to set up a VOIP asterisk server on Ubuntu machine. We will also add two clients and at the end of the video we will probably be able to make calls between the clients and talk to each other. So let's get started. Now before configuring our server let's take a minute to talk about the whole protocol. So what is VOIP? VOIP is a voice over IP address in which clients talk to each other over IP address. So in order to do that we need to set up a server and need to install a VOIP server. So in our case we are going to use Ubuntu and we will install Asterix VOIP server on it. Now inside the Asterix configuration we can add as many clients we want. So for example in the image you can see that we have added three clients in our Asterix configuration. Now these clients can be any device like Windows, Android, iOS or any other Linux machine as well. So once these clients are connected to Asterix servers they can initiate a call to any other client in the network and they can even talk to them. So this is how the whole setup looks like and we are going to do exactly what we discuss. So now let's get started and let's install Asterix server first. Now I'll open a terminal here and I will start by first updating the system. So I will run sudo apt get update and I will type my password. Oops. This is done. Now I will type in the command to install asterisk so sudo apt get install asterisk this will install the asterisk VIP software so it is installed now I can launch the asterisk by typing command sudo asterisk minus r this is perfectly working fine now we have installed asterisk now next step we need to do is we need to configure um, some of the configuration files in the asterisk so let's do that now all the configuration files for asterisk are inside the etc asterisk directory so let's move into that first so etc asterisk now if I type in here ls so you will see there are lots of lots of configuration file but the main configuration file which we need to work with is the sip config and another configuration file is extensions.config which is just yes, this one and another config file is the voicemail.conf now inside the sip config file inside this config file we need to add clients so let's start by modifying the sip config file but before that let's just take a backup of this sip.conf file so that if anything goes wrong we can simply um, put the backup file and reload our asterisk so for that I'll do sudo mv sipconf to sipconf dot backup now you can see that a backup file has been created now I'll create a new file sudo nano or let's just go with gedit so sudo gedit sip dot conf okay now inside this I will add the uh, I'll add some of the code which we need to do so first start by general Okay, so I have modified, I have created this file and I have added all the settings we need. Um, there are few things which is which which we need to notice. So here I have added the IP address range which I have in my network and we have added, added two clients. One is the 7001 and another client is 7002. Uh, inside this client, this is the secret key which will be used to which will be used by the clients when they will connect to our uh, server. So this secret key is for the 7001 client and this secret key is for 7002 client. You can add any secret key you want and you can add any multiple clients here you want. So let's save this file and let's close this. 
now another file which we need to modify is the extensions.com file so let me just quickly take a backup of that file as well extensions.conf extensions.conf dot backup and I will again go with sudo gedit extensions dot conf now inside this I'll mention some of the settings so extension So this is also done. I've added all the settings. Uh, I'll put the link to download all these files in the description so you can download all the files and then you can uh, probably change them as per your requirements. So this is also done. Now the last uh, file which we need to modify is the voicemail file. So let's quickly take a backup of it. Great, now let's create a new file. Now inside this, we will write 7001. Great, done. So this is done. We have added all the configuration which we need. Now what we need to do is we need to reload the asterisk. So we'll again start the asterisk and simply we will type reload now after reloading the asterisk server we need to check whether the clients have been added or not so for that command is sip show peers now using this command we can list down all the clients we have added so as you can see here that it shows 7001 and 7002 as our client which is correct because we have added two clients in our sip.com file now host it says unspecified because obviously these clients are not uh, connected to the network so that's why it's showing unspecified so what we will do now next is that we will add these clients and we will connect them to the network and then we'll see what this uh, show peers command shows here so i think we have till this point we have configured our server and we have added the clients and everything seems to be working perfectly fine okay so now i'm back again in my windows system and in this window system we are going to make it as client one so which will be our 7001 id uh, there are many sip soft phones available online so you can download any of them i'm currently using micro sip because it's lightweight and open source now once you start micro sip you need to add an account by going here but i've already added the account so i'll show you what i have done so i'll click on edit account and i've here entered my windows account name as windows machine i've entered sip server so this is the ip address of the asterisk server running on the ubuntu now i've added username as 7001 so this is the client which we added in our sip.com file and I've also added the domain and the login and the password is also 7001 which we set it. Now I'll simply click on save and as soon as I click on save you will notice that it shows online. Now I've also connected to my Ubuntu machine using uh, putty. So here if I type SIP show peers you will notice that it shows me 7001 is connected on this IP which is our Windows machine and here it also shares one online and one offline so we have made our windows system as 7001 client now we are going to install uh, sip client on my android phone and then we'll make it as 7002 okay so now i'm using my android device and i'm going to install uh, sip soft phone on this so one of the application which i like is the mizu droid so i'm going to install it now as soon as you launch it you will need to add some of the details so first we are going to add the server IP address so this is the IP address of my Ubuntu machine in which I have installed the VOIP asterisk server username so we have added 7001 as our Windows machine so I am going to add it as 7002 
and the password will also be the same 7002 now click ok now you will see that you will see that on the top it says registered which means that this is also registered now we can make call from our android device to windows machine or from windows machine to android device now as you can see on my asterisk logs if i type in sip show peers it shows me that two online which means both of my clients one is a windows machine and one is the android device both are online now i'm going to make a call from uh, the android phone to the windows machine so in the android phone now in the android phone i'm going to type the number of my windows uh, device so 7001 and you can see that i'm getting a call on my uh, windows machine so i can simply type click answer and I can even talk to the phone. So let me just put my phone on the speaker. So, so you can see that, can see that my voice my is also voice getting is transferred. So I can also talk to my other client. So in this way, we can configure VOIP asterisk software on the Ubuntu machine and we can add as many clients we want with multiple devices like Windows or Android or iOS or any other Linux machine. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.